Well, there's a lot under construction, so we're adding more space. Uh, that that so the vacancy rate is a, is a function of you know how much space is demanded and occupied, and then how much is put on board online. And the trouble is, of course, it's a two-year lag between the time a, a project, say an office building, or a major retail center is started and it actually. Uh, hits the market and, and becomes occupied. In many cases, they're pre-leased, so technically they're not vacant, uh, even under construction. So see, that's going to hit the market as 100% or near 100% occupied uh, from day one. Most of our data, I think, on the commercial real estate was very positive. I think we were showing uh, fairly lower vacancy rates, and, and uh, except for maybe retail, and retail's a funny market, uh, rents, asking rents uh, going up. Retail markets being affected a great deal by uh, uh, e-commerce, uh, uh, off-site buying, rather than needing the stick and brick, uh, the, the hard asset. Uh, even groceries being delivered uh, or picked up instead of, but, and, and again, this goes back to, I was talking about the experience. It's interesting, the millennials you would think would want to go shopping to have the experience, but they are among the first to in, uh, embrace the, the uh, uh, technology of ordering their groceries or ordering food service or whatever, having it delivered rather than going and picking it up.